Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Ah, I love it. I love it already. What's up Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my Sailor Moon YouTube channel. If you are new here, I constantly talk about Sailor Moon. So I made it into a YouTube channel. I'm also on Instagram under the same name. Today, I have a review. A review that took me like two years to get around to actually doing. This is the Crystal Star Proplica Brilliant Color Edition, which was released in 2020. This is a remake of the 2015 model, which came out about seven years ago. Now, while both of these apparently have the same voice effects, they do come in different colors. So I'm gonna compare the two side by side to see which one we like more. So let's go ahead and open these and get started. Yay! I'm so excited to finally be opening some of my Proplicas because it's been a long time coming, let me tell you. Now, anytime I open up collector boxes, I always use my knife to open it so I don't tear the edges. And that gives me a nice crisp opening. Now, the box itself is very pretty. On the front, we have this great promo art of the Crystal Star Compact, the Proplica. On the side, we have the Tamashi Nations logo sticker, which tells you that it is a true licensed product. It's not a bootleg. We have the Toei sticker on the side. It also tells you that it comes with three LR44 batteries. However, it does recommend that you replace those. We have a little bit more information about the Crystal Star Proplica on the side, and that's about it. You can tell this is the international release because it has this Bandai sticker across the back. It's basically a warning thing that says, don't swallow this. It's not made for children under three years. Let's go ahead and open it. Now, right out of the box, we do have a user guide. And here is our Crystal Star Proplica. Now, I was checking in here to see if it comes with any kind of base or stand. I don't believe it does. So here's the new Proplica that I got a while back and I'm just now opening. And here is the how-to guide. Now, most of this is going to be written in Japanese, so you will need to use Google Translate in order to read about the compact called Brilliant Color Edition. But I have noticed with these guides that a lot of the pictures make it pretty self-explanatory. So here we have some discussion about the different features, and this is the how-to guide. And this tells you exactly what you need to know in order to use it. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's the front of the Crystal Star Compact. You will notice immediately that the gemstone in the center has this holographic detail when compared to the older one, which does look cheaper. Apparently these are Swarovski crystals along the sides. It also has more of a matte color to it and the pink is not as hot with the new Crystal Star Compact. Which one do you prefer? I think I like the new one more. It definitely looks more high quality. Even the backs have changed colors. This one is a darker pink while this one is a really light pink. The insides have changed too. So on the older one, we had a lighter gold foil print of the ribbon. The new one has a darker gold to it, and we have more of a prismy holographic sheen to the crystal in the center, as opposed to the older one. I also noticed that the print around the edges of the mirror is darker on the new one compared to the old one. There is a plastic sheet on the mirror, so you can take that off. Now, just like with the old one, you press down on the crescent moon to open the back. This is where you can change out your LR44 batteries but right now there are demo ones in there, so I'll just use those. This is also where you can find a little miniature stand for your compact. So for example, if I take this off by pulling it straight backwards, there we go. I always worry that I'm gonna break stuff like that. Ah, don't lose the thing. This can go right here, and then you can just use this in hand without the cover, but that way it looks complete. I'm gonna put that back in its place so I don't lose it because knowing me, I probably would lose it. So I snap that back into place in order to close it shut. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on so that we can actually play with it. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Ah, I love it. I love it already. So this lets you choose which mode you wanna go into for your compact. So there's one and two. Oh, there we go. Turns red. And there's blue, red, and blue. So you can choose mode one or mode two. 
Mode one is red. And then in order to use that mode, oh my God. I love it. Oh, that was so cool. Okay, so that was the transformation music with voice, which you just press to make that happen. Or you can press and hold to make Sailor Moon appearance music happen. So that works like doing this. Oh my gosh. Does it work if you close it? Oh yeah, it does. It's still going. Love it that's so cool okay so that's fun and then we have mode b which you go in by clicking the back button once more the legendary silver crystal on the front will turn blue and that's how you know you're in mode two or mode b so this one will give us short music what is that Ooh, that was pretty i want to do it again It's so pretty. And then press and hold for transformation music without voice. Now, if it's too loud for you, that's totally understandable. You can turn down the volume on this by holding down on the mode button and then pressing the legendary silver crystal like so. Four, three, two, one. So one is really, really soft. Yeah, that's pretty quiet. I think that's doable. I'll leave it on that one for now. Once you're done playing with your new compact, you can go ahead and turn it off. Now with any of these powered toys, I do recommend storing them or displaying them without the batteries inside of them. I do not currently have batteries in my older Crystal Star compact. That is because batteries corrode. So you definitely wanna take them out to ensure that your toys last longer. That was something I did not learn until I started collecting. So I'm so thankful that I know that. I have not destroyed any of my proplicas. So what is there to not like about the new Crystal Star Compact, the Brilliant Color Edition? Well, I would argue that maybe the color is not necessarily brilliant. This one is definitely more of a shinier, hot pink color. It's definitely a brighter color. This one has more of a I would almost argue a more mature color when compared to it. Side by side, this one does look a little bit more high quality. I do like the matte finish of the pink, 
Mine didn't come with any kind of damages to it. There's a little bit of a scuff mark on the gold, but nothing serious. No major scratches, nothing major to report, which I'm super happy to see. Since this plays the same kind of audio as the older Crystal Star Compact, I'm not gonna do a comparison because they're about the same. Now, the nice thing is this one's relatively easy to find for a decent price online. I've seen it in stock at all sorts of places, including Amazon. And you can also find it on websites like eBay from resellers. So you shouldn't have any trouble finding this, even though it came out a couple of years ago. So with all of that said, I'm definitely happy that I have both of these versions. I really like Proplicas. I think that they are high quality products to add to your Sailor Moon collection, but they can be rather pricey. So if you are ever looking into starting a Proplica collection, take your time so that you can find the best deal because some of the older ones are very, very expensive now, especially like the older Kaleida Moon Scope, which I have up there in the corner. That one now goes for like exorbitant prices on the third seller or second seller markets. This one I'm still finding for like 75 to $150, depending on where you look. Yes, that is a big margin, depending on where you look. So definitely keep your eye out for deals, but you can still find this brilliant color edition for a decent price. I would love to know which one is your favorite. And if you're a collector like me, who would prefer to have both variants of the Crystal Star Compact Proplica, which one you would prefer to have? If you enjoyed my review and you wanna check out more, definitely subscribe. And until then, I think that's about it to chat about with this Proplica. Thank you so much for watching. Jane.